Finally tonight, CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road to visit a Texas home that was once destroyed by hate, but rebuilt with love. <laughs> At the age of 97. Good morning. Just stepping out of a 4 by 4 is a major accomplishment. But Opal Lee has taken much greater strides than this, <sighs> with no plans to sit anytime soon. Where do we go from here? We don't have to sit around and wait for the Lord to come for us. In fact, he's going to have to catch me. <sighs> As we first reported a few months ago, Opal is a retired teacher and lifelong community activist in Fort Worth, Texas. She's mostly known for her successful campaign to make Juneteenth a national holiday. But what is lesser known is how that fire in her belly came to be. Back in 1939, when Opal was 12, her family moved into a house that stood right here in an all-white neighborhood. They'd lived here just five days when a mob showed up. What did the mob do to your house? They tore it asunder. They set stuff on fire. They did despicable things. The family moved away and moved on. They just wanted to forget the horror. Until eight decades later, when Opal Lee decided the time had come to remember it. So she looked up the address found out the lot was still vacant and owned by the local chapter of Habitat for Humanity. CEO Gage Yeager took Opal's call. He listened to her story, but then told her she could not buy that property. Said, uh, well, we won't sell it to you, Opal, but we'll give it to you. There's no, no option for anything else. What'd you think when you heard that? Ah, when I get happy, I want to do a holy dance, but the kids say I'm twerking, so I don't ever do it. <laughs> And she still hadn't heard the best news. How are you? Gage also offered to work with donors to put a house on her land for free. And today, he delivered. Three bedrooms, two baths, one happy homeowner. This is wonderful, wonderful. Long ago, a group of thugs robbed Opal's family of the American dream. And 85 years later, another mob has restored it. Now, all Opal wants is time to enjoy the gift. I want you to know that I've got a God who has been so good to me. I think if I ask, he'd let me have a couple of more years. <laughs> a most worthy prayer. Steve Hartman, on the road in Fort Worth.